Hey everyone, welcome back to Halftime. Now for today's segment, we got to visit yet another supporters group in Toronto. This time we went to Magica Roma Club of Toronto to watch the Roma Napoli match. We got to learn about the past, the present, and the future of this incredible fan club. From the moment you walk into Deco, all you can hear is Forza Roma. I've been talking to a couple fans around here, and all you can feel is that passion where they really bleed the Giallo Rossi. So walk around a little bit and get to experience what the Roma fan club in Toronto really is about. And the match is getting started, so I should probably move out of the way. a little bit about how you got involved with the Roma fan club. But first of all, let's start from the beginning. I'm a big Roma fan. So I'm born and raised in Rome. And I'm born in the neighbor where you have to be a Roma fans. Yeah. And across the street, from across the street, it's all Lazio fans. So my neighbor is split in two. With the street? With the street. It's a big street, the main street. So one side, it's mostly it's a Roma fans so where the Ultra was born. And the other side was the, where the Lazio Ultra was born. So, Could you ever cross the street? Could you ever we go? We go to school together, we go eat together, but when it was a derby, there was no friendship. No friendship there. For one day, we don't know each other. They've got plenty of bodies up in support. Yeah. It's a wonderful finish. With the fan club? Uh, only a couple years actually. So uh, I followed Roma quite a bit. Um, really got involved in 2006 when uh, Francesco Totti uh, performed so well in the World Cup. And uh, playing as a, as a young boy growing up, I uh, became a, an idol of mine, right? So what better than to, to follow the club that he plays for? To top it all off, I had an opportunity to go to Rome and, and, and be at the Stadio Olimpico um, and witness, you know, Francesco Totti, Daniele De Rossi, Alessandro Florenzi, Pellegrini, all of these Romans that. that Bleed the colors was uh, truly a phenomenal experience, and it's just been a been a diehard ever since. My first Roma game, uh, can't remember because I just find the job two days before, it was in 1987, and the guy called me. Say, Fabio, why we don't go to the game Saturday in Brescia? I say, yeah, just get a job. I say, you want to come or not? I say, okay. I call, I quit, I went to Brescia. You just quit your job after two days. Definitely. I love that. That's passion, right? Oh, yeah. team and sort of this community that is built around it. Excellent. You know, we started back in 2003 with our, our president and founder, Vito Carreza. And we just started with a couple of guys just getting together because we were just like Roma fans. And uh, we were out in Woodbridge. And then from there, it just kind of, the, the word spread. And it was just like a, like a nice feeling of guys just coming together to watch Italian soccer. Where would you see the Roma fan club in Toronto in the next couple of years? Well, we would certainly like to see uh, um, our club, our fan club grow, of course, with more members. So we certainly want to have that connection with the Italian community here. We want to open this up to the new generation of Italians that want to feel connected to their roots. Um, we would certainly like to have a clubhouse or a club place where we can, uh, we can do much more than just watch games. You know, we can do like a social events, social gatherings, um, and just uh, have a place where people can connect and, and, and just make new friendships. I think one really kind of special moment was a few years ago when we had uh, three or four groups of Romans who didn't know each other, they were on vacation, but they found their home away from home. So just that, you know, bringing together the passion, the community, the global community, uniting us, not just by, you know, through winning, but the passion of the colors, the culture, the city, 
the players the loyalty. And that's the common thread that really binds us all together. You know what's crazy actually? It's not just about the diverse cultures. We've met some Milan fans. There's a Lazio fan in here. So I mean, you don't even have to shy away just being a Roma fan because you guys seem pretty welcoming right now. Yeah, we're pretty cool. I didn't know there was a Lazio fan, but don't point him out. I, I won't point him out for you. I won't <laughs> no, all are welcome, all are welcome. <laughs> So we're doing things a little differently today. We actually got in touch with the president, Vito, who was at Stadio Olimpico watching the game. Vito, how is the energy like over there? The energy is always very, very good. And uh, you know what? I think I have to stay here because every time I come in and watch Roma, Roma wins here at the Olympico, every time. Talk to us about the fan club in Toronto. How did you start this? In the beginning in 2005, we had uh, over 140 members. But after, you know, we missed because most of the members, they were old people. So now we started again with the younger. So we will see. You saw there, there is a few guys, very Roman fans. Oh, quando dormi? O vinciamo lo scudetto quest'anno? Lo vinciamo se vengo io qui allo stadio. Ok, allora rimani là. Make sure you head to tln.ca to get the entire Serie A schedule. Enjoy the rest of the match.